Now we'll take a look at two examples of dividing signed fractions. Here we have negative two-fifteenths divided by six-fifths. So the first thing we should notice is we have a negative divided by a positive, so this quotient will be negative. Next, next, we normally write all division problems as multiplication problems. Dividing by six-fifths is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of five-sixths. So this is equivalent to negative two-fifteenths times five-sixths. Again, notice how five-sixths is a reciprocal of six-fifths. But now before we multiply, we do want to simplify. We want to identify all the common factors between any numerator and any denominator. And probably the easiest way to identify all of the common factors is to write all the numerators and denominators in prime factored form. And since two is prime, we'll have negative two all over the prime factorization of 15 is three times five times five is prime. The prime factorization of six would be two times three. So now notice we have a two in the numerator and a two in the denominator, which was simplified to one. We also have a five here and a five here that simplifies to one. So now this product will be in simplest form. Again, we have a negative times a positive, so this will be negative. And then we have a one in the numerator. Remember, all of these simplified to ones. And the denominator would be three times three, which is equal to nine. So this product is negative one-ninth, which is also our quotient. Now let's take a look at a second example. Here we have a negative divided by a negative, so our quotient will be positive this time. Let's first rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Dividing by negative six-sevenths is the same as multiplying by negative seven-sixths. So we'll have negative nine-sixteenths times negative seven-sixths. If we want, we can include parentheses here. Now before we multiply, we do want to simplify. But in this case, since seven is prime, the only common factor here is going to be a three between the nine and the six. So to save a little bit of work, we'll just write this as negative three times three. We'll leave 16 alone because it's not going to simplify. And then seven is prime. And the prime factorization of six would be two times three. So notice here we have a factor of three that simplifies to one, and then nothing else is gonna simplify. Now again, we have a negative times a negative, so the product is positive. Our numerator is three times seven, which is 21, and the denominator is 16 times two, which is 32. So this is our product, which should also be our quotient. Now we'll take a look at two examples of division that involve sine fractions and integers. For the most part, these problems are exactly like dividing sine fractions. Looking at our first example, we have negative 15 24ths divided by five. Well, the first step is to make five into a fraction. And we can do that by putting five over one. Remember, a fraction bar means division, and five divided by one is still equal to five. The next step is to write the division problem as a multiplication problem. Dividing by five over one is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of one-fifth. So this division problem can be written as negative 15 24ths times one-fifth. Notice we have a negative times a positive, so this product will be negative. But before we multiply, we do want to simplify, which means you want to identify all the common factors between any numerator and any denominator that would simplify to one. And the way I like to show this is to write everything in prime factored form. Since the prime factorization of 15 is three times five, we'll have negative three times five. And then for 24, 24 is equal to four times six. Four is two times two, and six is two times three. So we have three factors of two and a factor of three. And then we have one, and then five is also prime. So in this form, we can see there's a common factor of five between this numerator and this denominator. That simplifies to one. There's also a common factor of three here and here that simplify to one. So again, our product is going to be negative because we have a negative times a positive. The numerator is going to be one, and the denominator will be two times two times two, which is equal to eight. So this product is equal to negative one-eighth, which is also our quotient. For our second example, we have negative six divided by negative three-fourths, 
And again, the first step is to write negative six in fraction form. So we'll have negative six over one, and then we're gonna write this as a multiplication problem. So instead of dividing by negative three-fourths, we'll multiply by negative four-thirds, the reciprocal. So negative six over one times would be negative four-thirds. Now before we multiply, we do want to simplify. Notice that six and three do have a common factor of three. And I always like to show those common factors, so we'll have negative two times three over one times, we'll go ahead and leave four alone because it's not gonna simplify. So here's our common factor of three that simplifies to one. We have a negative times a negative, so it's positive. So we have two times four, that's eight, all over one. So this product is equal to positive eight, which is also our quotient.